Google Business Profile for Realtors, otherwise previously known as Google My Business for Realtors. This is without question one of the most underutilized, untapped tools to generate free leads and rank for free in your local market. However, most people just simply don't know how to use it properly. And the best part is it only takes a couple of minutes a week to absolutely crush your competition with the strategies I'm about to show you. But I'm also gonna show you an insane ninja tool that's a Chrome extension that allows you to spy on your competition to actually guarantee that your profile starts to improve. And at the very end, I'm going to show you and give you my exact strategy and and email that I used with every single client in order to get reviews so that you could start to build ranking authority within your local market. So I'm going to walk you through on this screen step-by-step step, everything that you need to understand about Google Business Profile as a real estate agent and the very simple things that you can change today and start doing going forward in order to make sure that you outrank your competition for free. So without further ado, let's dive into this camera and this screen right here and show you step-by-step everything you need to know about Google Business Profile. Okay, so let's walk through how to leverage Google Business Profile as a realtor. This is one of the most untapped, underutilized goldmine of an opportunity in order to scale your real estate business and generate free leads. And so a lot of times agents will get the setup and then just set it and forget it. And so that leaves a massive gap for people that are going to follow what I'm going to share with you in this tutorial in order to start to rank higher than them for free and start to generate leads consistently for free. And I'm going to talk to you about a couple important tools that you can use and what to do on an ongoing basis that will only take minutes every single week, but will make a massive difference. So if you do not yet have Google Business Profile set up, I will show you where to go. You can just type Google Business Profile here. And then you can click on the first link. And then after that, just click manage now. And I don't need to walk you through this. It's literally going to take you step by step exactly what to do. So it's very, very easy. But once you've done that, we can come through here. And now the first thing that I would like you to do is to first download a tool called GMB Everywhere. And this used to stand for, well, it does stand for Google My Business Everywhere. And so this used to be called Google My Business, but now it changed its name a couple of years ago to Google Business Profile. So you want to download this Chrome extension. And when you do, you're going to be taken to a place like this. Now, we'll show you how to use this once we walk through a couple of, um, you know, certain elements that I want to talk to here in terms of optimizing your profile. And once we do, then we'll come back here and I'll show you some really ninja stuff that you could do in order to look at your competition and actually rank higher for free without doing any effort because they've already done the effort for you. So we want to come through here. And the first thing is making sure your profile is set up properly. And to do that, you can see all the different options that we have. Most of these we don't need to use on a consistent basis, but there are certain things that are constantly left untouched that I highly encourage you to take note of. So when we come to um, edit, we've got a couple things, our business name. Typically, real estate rules in most boards is your name dash your brokerage. This is up to you, I don't know your board, but make sure that it's compliant. And then the second thing is your category. Now for me, I've always had real estate agency as the primary and the real estate agent as the secondary. And so I will talk to you and show you why that's the case, because most people might assume real estate agent primary should be the best one. That's not the case. Now you've got your description here. It's important to make sure that with your description, it is keyword heavy and that it is talking about who you serve. And so yes, you've got some um, edification in here talking about any achievements, any accolades, things like that. And then also you can see luxury, you can see real estate investors, first time home buyers, and some information about marketing strategies, top producing real estate agent, award winning real estate agent, things like that. Um, but those are all important just to make sure that again, keyword heavy is gonna be the name of the game. And so if we come back here, sorry for that, we can come down to opening date, doesn't really matter. It, I would not put this if you're new, because then it's going to show your lack of experience. Um, but after that, if you've got a few years of experience, this can help. Now, phone number is really important. I've removed mine because I was getting so many calls from agents uh, from my YouTube channel asking for tips and advice directly calling me uh, when I was spending time with my family and that's not okay. So I removed it. You've got your website here and hopefully an IDX website. Social media profiles are really important. You can add things like TikTok if you would like, 
But what happened with me a lot of the times is I would meet buyers and sellers during presentations or through referrals, and they're always going to Google you. And what you'll find is that people will Google you, then check you out on different social media profiles, and that's usually what they use to validate you. And so a lot of times people would find me through a referral or through a presentation that I did, and then suddenly they would look at my YouTube channel and that would be what sealed the deal compared to other agents. So it's important to have a presence and to also connect the other profiles that you have here. Now your location has to typically be where your brokerage is or where your office is. And so this is within reason out of control. Um, but then the service area, you want to make sure that you have every service area that you will actually service. So mine's not just Calgary, it's Airdrie, Okotoks, Cochrane, uh, Rocky View. So this is going to be key to make sure that you're not, you know, leaving out any markets that you would be willing to serve um, when people are doing a search. Now, when it comes to business hours, before we start talking about the tools, this is important because a lot of agents fall victim to the trap of saying that they're available whenever, at any time for anybody. And so you've told your clients from day one that you can talk to them whenever they want. And then, you know, weeks later, you're complaining that they're calling you at 11 p.m. saying you don't want to be talking to clients at 11 p.m. You need to set proper expectations. So while yes, you should have weekends open um, because of the fact that that's what most clients are going to be looking to buy or sell. You don't want to put 24 hours here. You want to set parameters so that people can respect your time. And so if you stop working after 6, 7 p.m. because you've got kids or a spouse or whatever, um, then put that here. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's really important. So now let's look at some of the tools. And before I talk to you about some of the other features that you should be using, especially when I give you the template for uh, the review. And so when we look at photos and products and services, these are three key ones. Now, when we come over here, what we could do is we can type in Calgary real estate agent. And so what you could typically do is look at the ones that rank at the top. And this usually shows the ones that have a lot of reviews, are doing well, um, or you know maybe you're just spending a lot of money on marketing and advertising. But you could see here, okay, well, remember I said the Google business category is real estate agency well it's validated by all the people that are doing well now there's a couple other things that we can look here and so when we start looking at um category more it'll show you a couple of other categories but you really don't need to be too concerned about this what you want to be concerned about is the basic audit and the post audit and so when we start using Google My Business Everywhere, GMB Everywhere, we can come over here to the post audit. And most people don't post on their Google Business profile. That comes from here, adding a photo, posting a photo. Well, let's look at some of the agents that are doing really well. Let's look at the number of cumulative posts. Massive. But if we come down here, you can look at posting every 1.3 days. So that's pretty substantial. It's almost, a, it's basically a post a day. You can look at the average characters per post, which could be written using chat GPT. Um, you know, a lot of images with posts as well. And so when we start looking at this, it's really important where we can start to go down the rabbit hole of what this competitor might look like and say, okay, well, if we're looking at that team, let's come over here. And we'll look at the team. Okay, well, we're looking at their business profile. Maybe we can look at the photos and we can look at the posts. Well, let's do that. We can come over here and we can look at the photos that are being posted, team meetings, listings, all things like that. Well, maybe that gives you an idea of what you should be doing and I'll get to that. But the post audit just gives validity to why it's important to post because the more you post, the more that Google is going to see that you're actually leveraging this as a business tool and thus the more they're going to promote it. So the next thing aside from the uh, post audit is the basic audit. So if we come to the basic audit, let's look at this for example. If we come down here, this is where things are really strategic. Look at this, other Google My Business details. Well, we've got the post URL. Well, let's look at this. We can look at all the different posts that they're making. Well, 
maybe you just want to toss some of that into ChatGPT and get it to reword it based on your style of business. And now you've got endless posts as well. We can come over here and look at products. Well, this is a heavily underutilized tool because a lot of people make the assumption that we're realtors. What kind of products would we have? We have a service, not a product. Well, that's what the average agent thinks. But our products can be certain areas that we farm. So you can, you can create products around the communities that you farm, but also around the certain properties that you work with. So let's see what this looks like. If we come to products, we can look at condos, townhouses, homes, new, acreage, luxury. Okay, so that's pretty powerful. We've got a couple other things here as well. So we start looking at this, we can start to get an idea of what are other people doing that are working very well that we can start to use for our Google business profile. So maybe you want to come through here and create a product. You can see here, I created one for this community. Well, maybe I want to create a product for another community and say, I'm going to farm, uh, you know, maybe it's this community, select a category, real estate community, and then you want to put a link from your website filtered by that community and then add a photo. Let's say this home was in that community. Well, now you've just created another product. So what I recommend doing, and this is pretty strategic, is to create products around, as you can see here pending, the communities that you service, the ones that you want to farm, as well as, as you can see here in the past example, looking at the um, different types of properties that you work with as well. And so this is just completing your profile on a completely different level that most would not be doing. And so that's going to differentiate you. Now, when it comes to posts, you could add photo. And when we come to photos, this is where I recommend a couple different things. When it comes to photos, you should be uploading photos of every listing, every sold, open houses, the same stuff you would be posting on your Facebook business page. And that's why it's so simple because you could just copy and paste. You could just promote it over here. It's no extra effort, but it's going to go miles when it comes down to how your profile is performing. Now, if we come back here, you know, you've got a couple other options as well. This is going to be a big one, which is reviews. Okay. So you have updates and that's what, um, some of those other text ones were is looking at the updates, right? So you can go through write updates and this could be some of the examples that we walked through related to the audit of looking at some of these right here, which is looking at the post URL, right? So these could be updates. So you can basically reword those updates for your own business, but the reviews are where the game is won. And so you can ask for reviews by clicking here and now it gives you a review link. Now, one of the things that's really important is to make sure that this is a staple in your business every time you work with a buyer and seller. And so let me show you the email that I used to use uh, whenever working with any buyer and seller. And it's the same email that a lot of people in my organization now use for theirs as well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open up Gmail and then we're gonna type in our client's email, of course. And I will give you this. If you wanna drop a comment below, just say uh, review email and I'll fire this over to you. Um, but we can look at the subject, you know, congrats on buying your new home uh, or your new home. Please let me know how I did. And so I wrote this out and this is the same thing I use for basically every single client with a buyer. We'll just replace this with the proper emoji. Uh, did it? And done. And so what we could see here, hey, name, you know, include the client's name. Just wanted to say huge congrats on taking possession. You'd obviously reword this for a seller. Um, it's beautiful. I can't wait to hear how you enjoy it. Uh, it's a pleasure working on the journey together. I never ask for anything, but the one thing that makes a huge difference in my business allows me to provide the same experience I did for you to others looking to find the next home is getting a quick review. It only takes one to two minutes, but it means the world to me for those who are willing to. And so this is important because it says, hey, it doesn't take too long. It means the world to me for those who are willing to. So people, you know, honestly feel bad if uh, they don't do this. And so it's a really great way to, again, 
just make sure that um, you're leveraging a bit of psychology so that they actually do it and don't just brush it by. Here's a direct link. They can click on this link and write the review. And so I'd fire that off. And so the only other element that's really important comes down to replying to reviews. So you can look at read reviews here and you want to make sure to reply to all of your reviews. Here's a client that I worked with. I interviewed three separate agencies to sell our home quickly in the challenging market because it was terrible five years ago in, in my city. Um, you know, we wanted an aggressive plan of attack and I responded, you know, to all of these different people. And so when you respond to the reviews, it yet again shows Google that you're serious about leveraging this as a tool and that it's a priority and it will continue to push your profile. So very simple stuff, but makes a world of a difference for your business. I highly encourage you leveraging this and hopefully this helps you start to rank a little bit better and start to generate some free leads from the performance against your competition. So if you have any other questions, drop a comment below. Otherwise, if you want to know how to run high converting Google ads, then click the next video because I've got a tutorial that walks you through the entirety of how to do so. And it is some ninja strategies baked in there. So otherwise, drop a comment, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.